Welcome to Selum Enterprise Edition. In this brief, quick guide, you will learn how to use the basic features of Selum Enterprise Edition. Selum Enterprise Edition is a software with the ability to link product information with rich content like images, videos, and documents. This video will guide you step by step through four main tasks that cover a typical asset lifecycle uploading an asset, editing metadata, searching for assets, and downloading your rich content. But let's first have a look at the user interface of Selum Enterprise Edition. Let's take it from the top. We will briefly go through the main elements of the user interface before we start with our asset lifecycle. The tabs on the top allow you to navigate to different node structures, like the keyword structure, or the tabs for different purposes, like the search tab. Navigation inside these structures happens in the navigation tree, on the left side of the screen. The content of each node that you select in this tree is displayed in the central asset list. You can view the most important information of an asset by clicking on it. A more detailed view is opened by double-clicking on an element. There you can view information fields or the version history of an asset. The most important actions for a selected element can be found in the blue menu bar on the top part of the screen. More information can be found in the context menu of an asset. An expandable dock at the bottom of the screen hosts the download and the upload baskets for the clipboard. You can move elements to and from those baskets via drag and drop. Now that we are familiar with the user interface, let's try uploading an asset. Open the upload basket. There you can upload files by clicking Browse. You may also drag and drop files into the upload basket. Uploaded files are immediately displayed with their preview image and the file name. Now you can release your assets inside a node. Simply drag them from the upload basket into the asset list. Now that we have uploaded our assets, we can start by entering some metadata. Let's first set an asset type by opening the asset type dialog in the context menu. As soon as we have chosen a type, we are in the edit metadata dialog. There are different types of input fields like drop down fields or simple text fields. Required fields are marked red and have to be filled. Some fields can be filled in more metadata languages. You can select an additional working language in the top right corner. All metadata entries can be saved as a template. Using the template, you are then able to immediately apply the same data to other assets. Once you've entered meaningful metadata for your assets, you are then able to retrieve them as search results. Simply switch to the search tab and perform a simple, full text search. All assets that contain the search term in their metadata are retrieved. You can add more search widgets by clicking on the plus icon. Some widgets can be used to search in specified metadata languages. Often used queries can be stored for later use. As soon as you have found the asset you are looking for, they are ready for download. 
The easiest way to download a single asset is through the original download button in the menu bar or in the context menu. The asset will be downloaded immediately in the format it was originally uploaded. The asset can be downloaded immediately in the format it was originally uploaded in. Multiple assets in specified formats can be downloaded at once by dragging them inside the download basket. Clicking on the download button downloads all converted assets bundled in a zip file. This was our Selim Enterprise Quick User Guide. For further information, please refer to the full documentation. On behalf of Selim and our entire team across the globe, thanks for watching.